Hi everybody, and welcome back to Living Between Paychecks Kitchen. I'm Oz. That's Jack. Way over here. Way over there. Oh. And as you can tell, this is a fancy one because I've uh, actually washed my apron. I had a couple of comments that mentioned that, so I went ahead and did that. It's getting a little funky. So today we're gonna do one that's relatively simple. Like you should be able to do it. The guys at the uh, football, baseball zone, high school just throw chips and cheese on it. We're gonna do some nachos that you can do at the house that will remind you of those, but be a little bit fancier and still very much cheaper. So let's get into it. And this is another one. Looks like he's got a bunch of stuff, but it's basic. You just need some chips like this and some cheese. Now you can use the shredded stuff, uh, but I prefer the canned stuff. I don't do Velveeta, but the canned stuff works. The canned stuff works pretty good. Yeah. And then meat, you could use like a regular meat, but I found this little bitty brisket, which is like super marble. Check this out. Found it at the Asian food place. Yeah, that's kind of a surprise. Yeah, it was like four bucks. And chop that up and do it. Uh, got some taco seasoning to put on there because I didn't marinate the stuff where you can put like lime pepper, any kind of seasoning you want for your nachos. Uh, onion, just a little bit, and some peppers. If you're into spicy stuff, we got some jalapenos and some hash somewhere. Or you can get some chipotles in a can. Chipotles. <laughs> now, you get your brisket, and hopefully you marinate it, but if not, just take it and slice it thin. Be a little chewy, but as long as you cook it and make it small enough, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, it won't be an issue. Yeah, try to make it about as thin as that. You don't have to be as long as that. I think I ended up cutting them again in half. Just yeah. make them smaller. Cut it however you want. <laughs> but yeah. Make the whole slab of brisket if you feel like you need, need <laughs> right? it that way. <laughs> also, if you don't have this, like regular hamburger stuff will work too. Yeah. And you Chicken. don't even have to put yeah. meat on it at all. It's a completely optional thing. Very much a Texas thing. I guess. Yeah. Like, nachos better have meat on it. Or it's just chips and cheese. Chips and cheese. <laughs> so, get our skillet. I put it about medium, medium high. Like normal. Yeah. Nothing special. Uh, I didn't grease or put anything on it. Oh, and if you hear anything waddling, it's my D&D &D watch with the little dice stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> just throw the meat in here. Lay it around so it all touches. Meat on the metal kind of thing. Kind of lay it out. Wiggle it where it's not just stuck. Wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, this one, it was marble enough where it had enough grease to it where I didn't have to put anything in it. Yeah. But, and, oh, and I get the, the taco seasoning. Just sprinkle just a little bit, like a pinch of this stuff to start off with. Just to kind of get the flavor in there. Then you're going to treat it like regular taco meat later with a little bit of water. Just a little. And uh, once you get that done, you need to get your cheese. So get your little pot, right? Which, once you get it lit, I guess, yeah. we have a problem with it. <laughs> it wouldn't lit. light. No. Uh, this meat cooks really fast, especially if it's thin like that. So just be able to flip it over, put the pink stuff down. If you don't have spatula tongs, you can use yeah, anything the, else. These little <laughs> spatula tongs are amazing. Yeah. Like I said, I'd love to find the company to do that and get a sponsorship or something. Yeah. We no, use these right. things in like every video since we got them. That would be wonderful. But we got them at the local like craft store, so we got to go hunt those down. Oh, lime now, pepper. i put a little lime pepper on here while it's cooking just to give it a little bit of flavor, and hopefully the lime will break down the brisket so it's not as chewy. Now your cheese. Careful on your fingernails. And that the oh stove is lit. <laughs> <laughs> Which it's only like medium because you don't want it too high. Yeah, it's cheese. Yeah. You'll burn the crap out of it if you have it too high. All right, now this was the spicy cheese. Like, we didn't need anything to it, anything like that. You don't have to. Like, they sell, like, a mild version, so you don't have to get the yeah. spicy stuff. It's just, we're fans of it. We did mm. put... Now, be sure to use a... Oh, yeah. Now, we added some jalapenos. We chopped them up kind of small. Not tiny, but just to give it a little more flavor other than just cheese. cheese. <laughs> like, Something no, Or cheese byproduct or whatever yeah. the heck No powder is. seasonings. Just yeah, yeah. Just minced jalapeno. Yeah. Uh, that's just thick cheese. But stir it around. Be sure to get those jalapenos in there. Keep your heat at about medium. And just let it warm up. Now, uh, we sliced jalapenos in here. Just in case you want them afterwards. Again, completely optional. Yeah. But around here, it's not nachos if it ain't. Right? Yeah, if you don't have jalapenos on your nachos, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah. Now, you can make it thin. You can leave it as big around as this. Or you can take it and have it and quarter it and make it smaller. Depends on, A, the amount of people you have, the amount of peppers you have, and what you like. Like, I like the big brown pieces. I, I can go either way right. with the peppers. No, we get the uh, cheese grater. And this thing's a savior, too. I'm glad we finally had this thing somewhere. Just take it and get the onion. We're only going to use about a third of that. So, <laughs> like a fifteenth of an onion. Like, not that much. I'm just going to chop that up and give it those little bitty pieces. I'll admit, I've never thought of grating onion before. Yeah? Yeah. Now I kind of want to try and grate a pepper. I always <laughs> wanted to take a cheese grater hit somebody in the face with it in a fight just why wouldn't it be too pretty <laughs> yeah that's why i do it in a fight i wouldn't do it when i was flirting with somebody <laughs> that would be a horrible idea it would be a horrible 
Now something. you got it where it's nice and brown. You get you, I guess I measured it out. It was about two tablespoons worth of water, and then you're going to use another half of the taco seasoning. So it's going to leave you with about a third of the seasoning in there. And now you're going to stir it around, and make sure that water gets in there. That's how you do the regular taco seasoning. If you haven't watched that, we'll put a so you link treat down it in the like it's taco meat, but yeah. brisket for it. You can do the same thing with like chopped hamburger meat. We only used half the brisket in this one here, so you could have added the whole thing done just to show you how it's done. Wave it around, make sure that stuff gets in the water, it gets it everywhere, it'll soak up that taco seasoning and make the, all the meat taste that way. Now let it sit until it thickens and starts bubbling again. It usually takes like two minutes. Be sure to stir your cheese occasionally so it doesn't get too hot on the bottom. Yeah. See how it starts to get thick right there? Like see how it's all goopy? That's what you're Goop. looking for. Brisket Once it gets that, just go ahead and turn it off and pull that off. Don't put it on anything. Now we're going to show you how to plate it. Now you put your chips in like a decent sized plate or a bowl. And then or just, bowl plate. Yeah. <laughs> and then just ladle that cheese on there. I use a little bit of cheese because I don't want it. I don't like soggy chips. And I shit. like my nachos. <laughs> Absolutely. You want cheese with a little cheese. bit of chips in it. That, that, yeah, I want cheese with chips but and peppers. That's, that's how I'm doing here. If you got to share that one can of cheese with four people, you just do a little bit of this. Yeah, so you got to right? make it last, I suppose. Throw some of the meat <laughs> on top of it. Bam. Looks good. It smells outstanding at this point, anyway. Like the cheese and the meat and the fresh veg that's been sliced, man. It's great. And we just sprinkle just a little bit of the onion because, again, it can overpower it. Yeah, onions are pretty much. strong. And then lots yeah. of peppers. Yeah, all the pepper. <laughs> just throw those up there. And then basically you're done. Like you can salt, pepper, add any other seasoning stuff you want. Our chips were already lime seasoned, so we didn't do too much. Yeah. And there you have it. Now we did a couple of pictures here. I'm going to ta talk a little longer just to let you show this. <laughs> this is the one with the regular cheese and stuff. Now, we did some with the shredded cheese, but we didn't do it on camera. No. But you can just put the shredded cheese on top of it. I nuked it for like 25 seconds. Boom. There they are. You can tell it looks right there with the shredded cheese melted around yeah. the chips. Now, this is how I have my nachos. This is Jack drowning his shit in cheese. Like, yeah. you got to have <laughs> lots of cheese. Yeah. It's uh, super simple, super easy, and it costs like, I think just the brisket was $4. Anything else on top of that costs like 6 7 bucks. Fed two of us really easily with as much cheese as this guy could put on it. So if you got <laughs> other people, you might want to thin the cheese down a little bit. But that was great. So there you have it. Straightforward, really simple nachos. Try with the house. Tell us if you do it a little differently. And uh, put it down in the comments. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the little bell. We 